freckles with self tanner if you guys didn't notice by now i'm obsessed with freckles i want to have them so of course we're gonna try to do this this could be really cool or i'm gonna look really dirty i'm also gonna contour a little bit i'm using a wet brush for this i lightly like dip it in i tried it on my hand and this doesn't look like freckles it looks like a skin condition okay let's go oh damn why do they look good i never know where to go with freckles like you could have them anywhere on your face someone please stop me i can't stop adding freckles okay but low key low key call me strawberry shortcake these are some serious dots we're gonna wait an hour and then i'm gonna get back to you with the results please keep your fingers crossed for that looks interesting we're we're gonna do it like this video to give me good luck i have this random lip balm right here i don't really use lip balm or chapstick or whatever. I just feel like it's a scam. It makes my lips more chapped. I'm gonna rub it on the blue. Okay, the moment of truth. Ooh. I'm gonna do pink on this side. I'm gonna do my lips too, cause why not? Ooh. So basically, the chapstick's working as a primer to help the product stick better. Did it work? Yes. Would I do it again? Probably not. Do I recommend? I mean, yeah, it was kind of fun, so why not? Okie dokie. Okay, I got a lot of questions about my lashes. So, I'm gonna show you. I use Maven Beauty Lashes. They even come in a little protective case. Okay, first you want to see if the lash fits your eye. You just measure it, and you're gonna cut them if you need to. These are actually perfect for my eyes, so I don't need to cut them. Then you're gonna stretch them like this. Think of it as an eyelash warm-up. You want them to be bendy. You should use a thin layer of glue. And then just put on your eyelash, just like this. Press a little bit more to make sure it's on. And that's it. This is absolutely the easiest eyelash application ever. And they don't move throughout the day. Hope this video helped you, besties. This. It's an art project. Uh, we're trying that. Okay, you guys know I don't have lashes, but I'm kind of scared to do this. Like, I'm not trying to poke my eyes. Hold on, how does she even fit? This is huge. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Okay, I grabbed onto something and I'm just gonna lift it. Oh... Okay, yeah, don't do this. This is way too big. I don't know how she did it, and I'm pretty sure I grabbed my skin there, so. But I kind of want to try it on my top lashes. Let me know if I should do that. I got some. It is definitely green. I don't understand how this turns pink, but okay. Let's try it. Here we go. Wait, how TF? Ah, honestly cute and feels really good. 10 a 10. Yes, 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 yes. We want this. We need this. Okay, first we're going to need the pencil. Now we're going to shade it a little bit. These are the new Maybelline lipsticks I got in PR. So far, so good. And now the star of the show. These are NYX. It's gorgeous. Look at this. And a little bit of the lighter shade. And the lips are done. I am really vibing with this lip shade. Just so pretty. I just love it. Her lipstick looks flawless. A lot of you tagged me, so let's get into it. First, Z pencil. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm.
Can we talk about how I never put on lipstick this nicely? Honestly, just go do it best heck ever. Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my makeup with clay. Okay, let me put some foundation on. Here we go. So it already is a lot harder than a beauty blender, but it seems like it's blending pretty good. It's also absorbing a lot less of the product than a beauty blender would. Alright, so I would say the foundation blended in pretty good. Let's pop on some concealer. Now I'm going to try and blend that out under my eyes. Now I'm going to put on some cream contour and some blush. Let's see if this will blend out. Honestly, I think my base looks awesome, so 10 out of 10 would recommend. Hold on. Wait a minute. Glitter lipstick? I, I had to get this. It finally came in the mail and I'm really excited. Inside you get a little glitter, a lip liner, some glitter, the bond for the glitter, and I'm guessing you apply it with this. They say you should do it on dry lips, but I'm gonna do my liner first. Hopefully this is enough. Now I'm gonna use the bond. The, the bond smells a little suspicious. And now glitter. Hold up, this is so cute. You guys are not ready for this. Oh my god. I wonder what my boyfriend thinks. I'm like super obsessed with them. Let's try it. So she outlines her lips in liquid latex and I'm gonna use this little Q-tip cause I don't wanna ruin a brush. Okay. I don't know like how thick to make it. I think that looks pretty good. Let's do the top. Now I need it to dry. Now I'm gonna go in with some red lipstick. I'm just gonna go in and not care about the lines. Trust the process. Now let's peel it. It's not that bad. Applying a mask with a beauty sponge? That's fucking genius. I'm literally using the same mask as her. It's the Ula Henriksen cold plunge, but this hack is literally genius. Like, why did I not think of this earlier? This is actually so smart. If you guys mask at home a lot, girl, you have to try this. Where has this makeup tip been my whole life? But before we get too excited, let's try it first. Okay, I put some concealer on and let's put it on. I'm so nervous. Okay, let me fill that up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I just finished my eyes and look at my cut crease. Like, look at it. Perfect. Go try this hack out. I still haven't gotten tape at my house, so I'm going to be using this e.l.f. liner tape. Black eyeshadow, and I guess she just kind of presses it in. Okay, I've pressed it in pretty well, and it looks pretty good. Let's take it off. Honestly, I like the powder. It's just the whole, like, taping situation makes... The eyebrow look so pointy and it's giving me Disney villain vibes. What do you think? Okay, apparently this is where you are supposed to contour your face based on the filter. Okay, so according to this filter, this is where we should be contouring our cheeks. So I'm going to be testing it out. I'm going to be using the Fenty Contour Stick in the shade Mocha. 
Now I'm gonna just follow that line. Now that's definitely higher than I usually would contour. So I'm doing this half where I normally would. Okay, there's a huge difference. Let's blend them in. I also contoured darker than I usually would so we can see a dramatic difference. So here is our filter side. And here is our normal side. I feel like the filter side looks more lifted and the normal side looks more snatched. What side do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments down below.